Many Muslims will ask themselves the question, what was actually the mission of Muhammad in here on earth as a prophet? You will clearly see on Muslim chapter 1 verse 33, which says, the clear mission Muhammad had here on earth as his mission. One of the missions as a prophet is always to come here and say and talk about the prophecies that he was given and then the prophecies are going to take place and people are going to be saved. But as you guys can clearly see here, Muhammad's principal mission here on this passage was actually, I have been commanded to fight against people until they testify that there is no God, until they testify that there is no God, uh, until they testify that there's, there's no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So, the verse simply says one thing, and the thing is extremely clear. He has been commanded to fight against people until they testify that there is no other God and that Allah, that Allah, and that He is the messenger of Allah. And then what is the mission of Jesus Christ? We see something like, for example, uh, He who lives by the sword. Jesus, what is the reply of Jesus Christ according to this? He says, He who lives by the sword will die by the sword. He who those war will die in war. And so we have these kind of things. So if we clearly compare between those two things without even looking at the different other different um, differences between Jesus Christ and Muhammad, we will clearly understand that there is a problem with who actually sent him. The person who sent him, Muhammad, is not the same person who sent Jesus Christ because the missions are different. The mission of God in the life of a population is only to, of a prophet in the life of a population, is to show the right path, show the people how to be saved. And so we find a lot of verses about the mission of Muhammad was actually to come and wage war, and you will see more than how many more than 65 military things campaigns that he had actually raised in the last in, the, in in his last 10 years and then Jesus Christ actually did no military campaign or never approved any killing of any viola or any war or nothing like that and so this kind of thing is very complicated when Muslims are going through these kind of messages especially when you talk about he was married to more than 13 different wives having multiple sex slaves and then he was doing all this and the references are clear Quran chapter 33 verse 50 meanwhile jesus was just there single and he was going all over the place to go and be preaching the gospel and to be working and healing people and so on and so forth so these are some difficult things when you see the mission the objectives of somebody in the life of human beings has one objective just go there and uh, and, uh, and 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 killing people all over the place so that they should only accept accept um, their religion. First of all, there is the concept that most of you say, okay, this verse was abrogated, this verse was abrogated. Let me ask you a question before you say the verse was abrogated. What will happen today if you as a Muslim, you are watching this video, what will happen today if you're saying this thing is abrogated? What will happen today, that's my question and that's the end of the video, if you decide today to get out of Islam. If you decide today that after you have watched hundreds of my videos and you are like yes the references are there the references are obvious we are seeing all references you are going to these verses and then you are seeing the things and you understood that there is a problem <coughs> sorry what will happen if you decide to leave islam do you think your family is going to reject you yes who gave the order that your family should reject you the Quran gave the order that your father should reject you, your parents should reject you they should deny you they should disown you which kind of god is going to be doing this kind of thing so Meanwhile, the God of the Bible is not there to do those kind of things. And the last thing I would like to give you as a clear difference between the two religions is this. According to the Bible, we are going to find it in, um, <clears throat> we are going to give you, this is the verse, John chapter 5, verse 19. John chapter 5, verse 19. Let me give you this, this particular one. Therefore, just answer and say, truly, truly, I say, the Son I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself unless it is something he sees the father doing. For whatever, whatever the father does, the, these things the son can also do likewise. Let me take another transition so that you can see it's just different transition. Whatever the father can do, the son can do. So let me ask you the question. You as a human being, whatever God can do, the Father, God the Father can do, do you think you can do? Whatever, and that's what Jesus Christ is saying here. Whatever the Father is doing, he himself is doing it.